<sighs> hey there, people! I'm a friendly, friendly neighborhood Let's Player Spano. I welcome you to Gabriel Knight 3. Blood of the Sacred. Blood of the Damned. So right, right from the get-go, I'm gonna say this is not going to be a 100% playthrough. This game is really difficult to get to one the, the uh, full score like uh, like usual uh, usual Osiris games have the point system and this game has it as well and I am not aiming for a 100% clear of scoring so don't be expecting that at any point I'm just going to play the game the way I want to play it which is just try to do my best that's all I'm just trying to look around because there are the most difficult thing about this game is if you want to get to the full score it is uh, the difficulty is that there are events that happen at a certain time and some of them are not so easy to catch I mean there's all kinds of things happening kind of like in real time during the uh, the events or during the chapters of the game and not easy to catch not easy to go right at the right time at the right moment from the right angle it's all about that just gotta, gotta be there at the right time at the right moment after you've done something correctly so yeah that kind of stuff I was thinking of uh, some events happening actually here already, but uh, now, that I, now that I remember, it actually happens a lot later. But yeah, you already saw the introduction. There actually was a comic that came, came with the game... Came with the game that actually told the real intro to the uh, story. Gabriel Knight is hired by... By uh, a... Uh, by a uh, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts by a regal person who is the, the uh, former heir to the kings of Scotland. His name is Prince Edward Stuart, and he was hired, and uh, he hired Gabriel Knight to protect his uh, newborn son named Charlie. It has been uh, he told that he has been in his uh, bloodline. That there are some people, the, uh, they have been, have this affliction that they could not sleep well, or they would not actually sleep, they would feel very anemic, and they would sleep for a long time because they needed, uh, well, anemic, because they were anemic, so they had uh, sleep deprivation and all that. But then, as, they, as he was explaining this, the clues went together. He wanted to protect his son from these uh, anemic people. And then and he started to call these... Uh, they wouldn't uh, walk around in daylight, mostly just nights. And it became clear what we were really talking about here. Vampires. So that's what we're here to do. We, uh, he, got the, he was uh, stationed in uh, the steward house. Uh, staying awake with he was with Grace. They both went to the uh, to the mansion, and uh, they were they were looking after the baby in the baby's room. But one of the uh, night walkers or whatever I can't remember what they called them shadow people. You name them, not vampires, just whatever different name they gave them. They came in, kidnapped the baby. Gabriel hopped onto his bike to go after them. They were driving in a car. They had, uh, a scene, assumingly, had put the baby into a big casket of a trunk, like like a big, uh, like a it, it's a big uh, trunk suitcase that they put the baby in. And uh, Gabriel followed them into a train station, got hopped onto the train, and then you saw the intro. That's how it begins. Gabriel seeing them. Uh, Finding their uh, cabin where they stayed at and in the uh, train, got knocked on the head, and then the intro happens. That's how the comic book ends when Gabriel gets hit on the head, and there the game intro begins. So, now you have, yeah, now you have been clued into the whole story, let's begin the game itself. I was, uh, I was thinking actually doing the in with the intro 
showing the panels of the comic, doing my own voiceover on it, and then add maybe some little uh, sound effects uh, to the comic, and then I decided, I'm too lazy for this shit, somebody else do it, somebody else has done it, go look it up somewhere else. <laughs> That kind of editing is just too much for me. It would have been fun, but then the voice act voice acting wouldn't have matched and anything that semantic semantics and all that just didn't bother to do it and I just decided to explain here how the whole story begins. But now you know. So let's go. There's a guy reading the newspaper in the lounge. Yes, he is. Definitely reading it. I guess. We'll bother him soon enough. He must be the hotel receptionist. Don't think he was on duty when I came in last night. And apparently the frame rate goes down when you start speaking with the subtitles. There's gonna be a lot of problems with this game. It's not per- it doesn't run perfectly, but at least I got it to work. I had a little- it always has had some problems to work with Windows 10, but apparently at least I've got it to work, so that's good enough for me. We can really zoom in to take a look at Jean. All right, Jean, let's uh, ah, ask you. You must be Monsieur Knight in room 25. My name is Jean. Mm -hmm. If there's anything you need, I will be at your service most humbly. Uh, thanks. There's a lot of frame rate drops. Maybe I can fix it for tomorrow, but for now, let's just deal with what we got. Okay? Okay. Is there anything I should know about the town? Rennes le Chateau? We have a small town, but a rich history. I suggest Monsieur visit le Musée de Saunière. It's just down the road. I make you Kano from Mortal Kombat. Say, Jean, have you seen two men with a large trunk around the hotel? Maybe, uh, checking in? No, Monsieur, but most of the guests arrived last night, oui? And I was... Excusez-moi, not on duty. We have a number of gentlemen staying at the hotel. As to their luggage, I cannot say. Okay, but we need more specifics about this. Maybe somebody else who works here might have seen the two men. The night clerk is Simone. When she comes on duty this evening, perhaps Monsieur could ask her. Yeah, per apps a good. Hmm, a marker. It's a black magic marker. I always wondered why they call it a magic marker. There's nothing magic about it. It's just a marker. It uses uh, ink and stuff. Oui, Monsieur Knight? I could. But maybe I should wait until Jean's elsewhere. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. We need to, uh... Damn it. How do I... There is a way to... There it is. Gotta use combinations of the keyboard and mouse to move the camera about. It's not always, uh, it's not always, uh, you know, easy. But we can move the round, move it around like this. Woo okay, we can, <laughs> or just this. Yeah. Camera controls with the mouse and keyboard. Yay. Hey, how are you? My name's Knight, Gabriel Knight. How do you do? I am Emilio Baza. Emilio, great. Are you a guest of the hotel? Yes, I am. So am I. Then we shall see much of each other. Yeah, I guess so. Totally not awkward! At least Jean is now cleaning a... Uh... The window, so we can do this. Snatch. Swipe. And now that he's away, we can also do this. There's some kind of book on the desk. It's called the uh, log book. Where everybody signs in. Hmm, looks like these guests have all signed in within the last 24 hours. Except somebody came after you, apparently. You can see there, a Bocelli. Hmm, looks like these guests have all signed in within the last 24 hours. 
We also saw that there's Emilio Baza's name just before Gabriel. Hmm. A lot of guests. I guess the whole place is booked. It goes with the register. Can I pick it up? Um, it's chained to the disc. And it's one of those pens with a chain. At least not ball and chain. <laughs> well, that's cheerful. Makes me feel right at home. Well, I should. Don't you remember that your dear you said that your daddy used to draw paintings like that? So you really should make me make you feel like at home. Ah, uh, the window overlooks the parking lot. That's pleasant. Uh, so lovely here. So what do we have here? More paintings? Pastoral du Swamp. Oh, lovely. No, you mean swamp. Hey, free food. No, just free candy, I guess. Judging from that, that looks like candy. Yeah. I wouldn't consider candy food. I mean, you don't live off of candy itself. It would destroy your body quite quickly if you just live, tried to live off of candy alone. It's not a very, it's not that nutritious. It's a more of a, candy is more of a pick-me-up than a real food. If that's what I think it is, I can die a happy man. Because of, because of the sugary, the candy can give you a lot of energy. They actually say that the eating cake in the morning for oh, breakfast great. is a good way to get yourself started up. I read it in... Uh, hey, how about some coffee out here, Mercy? <laughs> mercy, that's a good way of saying it. Mercy beaucoup. Thanks, buddy. I thought you would know how to pronounce things in French because you're from New Orleans. Gabriel Nye. You wanker. <laughs> Mosley? <laughs> is that you? It is. No, it's my evil twin. What the hell are you doing here, Knight? We could ask the same what thing. What am I doing here? What are you doing here? I'm, uh, I'm on vacation. I'm here with the <clears throat> tour group. What kind of tour group? You know, the touring kind. And kind you of guys came here? Kind of avoiding the well, questions. Well, it's kind of special, um, it's a special treasure hunting tour group. Treasure? What treasure? Good question. Uh, read the brochures, okay? I'm not the freaking tour guy. Brochures. <laughs> nice to see you too. So what are you doing here again? Um, I came to see you. What? Sure. I called your number at the post. Right, of course. I forgot I mentioned it. Well, <laughs> uh, it's great to see you. Great. Y yeah. If you want to join a tour, you'll have to talk to Madeline uh, Boothang. She's around here somewhere. And uh, come up to the room later, would you? Uh, I'm in room 33. Sure. And uh, thanks for surprising me, old pal. Uh, no problem. Yeah, nothing suspicious about the way he acts there. Nothing suspicious at all. So how did he end up, really end up in here? Mostly. Mosley? In Ren Le Chateau? Wait, are you as confused as I am? Very. I mean, what are the odds of Mosley being here as well as Gabriel? Something fishy going around here. We need to find out what. It probably wouldn't make any more sense the second time around. Maybe I should wait till we're alone. Okay, we'll meet, meet up with him in his room. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about how jittery it sometimes is, the frame rate dropping. I guess it's just all the progress that I have on causing the game to slow down at parts. Can we talk to him a little bit more? I was speaking at the hotel register. You wouldn't by any chance recall the actual times people checked in, would you? Monsieur, we are a small hotel. This is why we do not require so precisely the time check-in, the time check-out. 
I myself might remember, but I was not on duty last night. I really do hate that the frame rate really drops so low because uh, the mouth movement actually is really well animated on the faces. You've got a tour group staying here. It's not like you see oh, with Gabriel. They fill the hotel. We have only the seven rooms and they have taken every room but your room, monsieur. If I might say, monsieur is most fortunate to get his room. Particularly since he did not make the reservation, n'est-ce pas? Oh yeah. I'm lucky as all get out. Very lucky. Do you know anything about the tour group, Jean? No, monsieur. You shall have to speak with the mouth of the horse itself. Mademoiselle Butin is the tour group leader. Madame Butin. Butin? Do you have any old propane or propane accessories as well? I hear there's supposed to be a treasure around here. You know anything about it? The Chamber of Commerce, they asked me to sound mysterious. But between you and I, Monsieur Knight, I think the trésor is a myth. A uh, myth? No offense. <laughs> a myth. I hope you are proving me wrong. You know, a myth, a legend. Come on, Gabriel. You've been living in New Orleans. You should know how to speak French. You should understand the French pronunciation about some words can be a little bit different. Let's talk to Emilio. Nice place, huh? Did you get in last night? Yes. You saw his name before yours. Not too late, I hope. Not late, no. Did you drive in? A friend dropped me off. I'm not crazy about flying and owning a vehicle. <laughs> Such a nuisance. Tell me about it. Are you a treasure hunter, Emilio? I suppose I am, but riches can be measured in many ways. Well, that's true enough. So what do you think the treasure is? Oh, I would not presume to say, Mr. Knight. At least, not out loud. Why not? Do you think somebody else is gonna go after your theories of the treasure or something? It's possible, though. That could happen. Now, uh, let's go and inform our friend Prince... Prince Stuart that we have arrived here. And we were going after... Let's see, inventory, uh, this one, James Stewart. Did I say Edward Stewart? It's uh, James Stewart. Prince James's calling card. Why did I say Edward? Okay, so we choose that, and we go to the phone. It's a telephone. They work the same way here in France. You don't say. I thought there would be some kind of telepathic telephones. That's what the tele means in the telephone. It's telepathic. I'm not sure who to call. I should call Prince James. He got an idea I right think away. I have his number on me somewhere. Yeah, we do have it. So let's use it. Now listen carefully as we start the phone call. But I heard footsteps. Hello, Stuart residence. This is Gabriel Knight calling for Prince James. Yes, one moment, please. Mr. Knight, what in God's name is... I know you must be frantic. Let me explain. Last night, someone came into the bedroom through the window and took your son. I followed them, but I couldn't catch up. They went to the train station and boarded a train for Toulouse. I believe they got out of a little place called Cuiza. I'm still trying to track what happened next. Cuiza? Near Rennes le Chateau? Yes. You know it? Gabriel, I... Thank you very much for informing me. I... I must think for a moment, please. I'm afraid our investigation of the night visitors will have to be postponed. I'll send down some men to look into the kidnapping. Wait a minute. What makes you think the night visitors weren't involved? I, I don't have time to explain. Keep your eyes open until my men arrive, if you would. I'll send Miss Nakamura along. Oh, and naturally, your travel expenses and the fee we discussed will be taken care of. Of course. Oh, that's not important. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. Perhaps I will call on you again when I have time for such matters. 
good goodbye. Hmm. Suspicious. That we finally that we are after the guys who kidnapped his son. And he doesn't want us to investigate it anymore? Suspicious. And Emilio. Peekaboo. I don't hear anything. Maybe he's got a long-winded telephone partner. Well, you would be then able to... Again, maybe not. Yeah, you would be able to hear them uh, from the uh, telephone. That one's occupied. Can we open it? That'd be kind of rude. Uh, kind of. But still, it seemed like he came right after us just to listen, maybe. A little bit of eavesdropping. Can't take a look at the uh, newspaper, apparently. Wonder if we walk away a little bit, we can see Emilio emerging from the telephone booths. Apparently not. No. Well, it's a good way to start the game. We have uh, found out that we are... There's a tour group in the whole hotel, so there's gonna be a lot of people to meet. And also, mostly is here for some reason. And also, the prince isn't very trusting of us anymore, especially with the night visitors uh, actually kidnapping his son, but apparently he is not thinking that it would be the night visitors. Courier, sir, as cu and courier, sir, as Alice would say. But thank you everybody for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.